86 kilograms, out comes David McFadden and Alex Derringer. That's McFadden in the red, Derringer in the blue, and I think they must have bumped noggins or something. Anyway, they're back at it. Both these guys wrestle down at the 165 pound weight class for most of their college careers. Now up at 86 kilos, about 189 pounds. So that pack on some muscle, both got some big frames. But this is an Olympic year, so guys that would normally be at say 79 kilos are up at 86. And so on with all the other non-Olympic weights. McFadden, a coach at Drexel, a member of the Pennsylvania Regional Training Center, multiple time All-American. I think he was a three-timer and then COVID stopped his um, quest for being Tech's first four-timer. And posted on the elbows, that's a double for Daringer and I heard a pop there, that's not good. Oof. Hate it when that happens. Derringer hates it too. That was Derringer just driving forward and sometimes your foot gets caught in the mat. And goodness, that's a lot of pounds per square inch being put on joints and ligaments. Very unfortunate. So. DeAndre Nunn, Chicago. McFadden. Kellen Kleinschmidt, Montana. Matt Six. He's moving around all of his limbs and everything so it's I think just a really bad ankle whatever it was but here in the pop uh, I'm sitting at the score table so not far but hopefully it's something that he can rehab and get back on the map potentially by the last chance if he's unable to compete in the semis you need to place top five so if he doesn't wrestle, it's double elimination like the NCAAs. He'll slide down to sixth place. Won't be qualified for the Olympic team trials. Derringer gonna get this um, injury default win. Yeah, as McFadden's up to his feet. And he's kind of laughing about it because he knows Derringer's in a tough spot. And he's hopping, so that's a good sign. Daringer moves on, the worst way he can win. But he will move on to the finals.